Hi everyone, this week we are taking a look at Mindustry. Mindustry is a base builder tower defense game for mobile and PC. You'll need to build a base and gather various materials and minerals from the environment around you, all the while protecting yourself from waves of enemies. The campaign mode is great fun. I think they've done a really good job of adding incentives into playing the different levels, by which I mean adding in the tech tree and the upgrades. It's really easy to understand how it all works. You play a level and gather specific materials to use as a currency of sorts for the different tech upgrades. So it makes you work pretty hard to unlock the tech, not just to make the game easier and more enjoyable, but also so you can unlock the more challenging levels. The difficulty is nice. It starts off pretty easy to get you into it, but it does ramp up a bit as you progress. In the games though, it does seem to plateau after a few waves, so you'll find yourself a bit more of a spectator than an active participant in the game. But this is where it brings out your inner creativity. You'll be spending most of your time devising the best ways to kill all of the enemies whilst safely gathering the materials that you need to progress. I like the production line approach to things, so it's not just mine and mine and mine and store and store and store, but you actually have to create some of the materials yourself by refining them in the various production processes. Since it's had its update, you now have a drone which you control, which can mine materials when you're struggling a bit, or add some firepower for some added defense. I like this feature, it added a bit of an action element to the game and made it a bit more interesting when you've been grinding materials for ages. There's a few different game modes that you can choose from in Mindustry. There's the campaign mode, which as I've already discussed, I'm a massive fan of. There's a sandbox mode where you can build what you want, set the game rules and basically do what you want. There's a level creator where you can create your own levels. And then there's a multiplayer feature. I think for the price, I paid £1.99 for this on iPad. It is absolutely amazing of what you get in Mindustry. The visuals have had a nice overall, going from more of a vector-based style over the previous pixel-based one. I love how clean everything is now and I think this was definitely a good choice. The animation that plays when you enter a stage is great, I love the impact it gives, it feels like you are falling to the surface of this barren planet ready to get the materials, it really pumps me up. The sounds are fantastic, I love the music that plays over the title screen, I feel like I'm watching an 80s sci-fi thriller, just that beat. Mindustry is a great game to play anywhere on the go or at home, just because it's on mobile doesn't mean it's a small game. There is so much to do in this and I've spent hours playing it. If you're into your base builders and your tower defense games, definitely pick Mindustry up. It will not set you back that much and I guarantee you will enjoy yourself. Well, that's it for this week's review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave it a thumbs up and if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, ta-ta for now.